seem to be spending more time commuting than being in the office. Either I'm attending a press conference or a shoot. And the way I keep myself entertained during these insane car journeys is by listening to the radio, reading the paper or simply looking outside. So what's new? How about getting live feed from a hundred different channels from Dish TV in your car? Don't believe it? Neither do I actually, which is why I have to check it out. It's basically a dish connected to an IDU, IDU to a set box that we normally use at home. Plus the, only the dish and the IDU is totally different from what we use at home because of your, uh, because it runs on a 12 volt, it's weather resistant and it has to move with the vehicle. Is this is exactly the same thing as me putting a satellite dish from home on top of the car and getting the same reception? No. It's not really possible because the dish at home is pointed to only the satellite. It doesn't move with the vehicle. Okay. So for, for the vehicle movement, we have to get the new dish in, which is basically built for automobiles. Will I get the same number of channels that I get home um, at my satellite dish TV there, here in the car right now? No, there is a limit when it comes to channels. You get about 100 channels on board compared to the 180, but you get mostly all the channels that you need, like your CNBC, Discovery, Travel and Living, etc. Where is the dish in the dish TV? Why don't we step out, I'll show you the okay, antenna. Yeah, absolutely. This is your T5 Maharashtra dish. This, this is Lord, it? Yeah. <laughs> this is the dish, dish in the dish, dish TV. TV yeah. Wait, I, I need to see. Okay, that's, that's not very heavy. Yeah. And so how would this how would this fit? I mean, does it have to be bolted on? No, or? This, uh, the Maharashtra is basically on a magnet. So all you do is put it on top of the car and it sticks. Just like that. I Just mean, you go that. with speed breakers. Not, not, nothing happens to it. So if I want to buy this entire setup, uh, what all am I getting with it? I mean, do the speakers come with it? Or? No. Uh, when you buy the setup, it's only the dish and and the package that is a setup box, the IDU, and and a satellite dish on top. The screens is totally the customer's choice. This is the Maharashtra T5, yeah. right? So do you have the the All India uh, satellite dish that I can? Yeah, we have the All India. We can come over that side. Okay. So this is the, the All India yeah, satellite. satellite. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is way heavier. Okay, and how many channels did you say come with this? This is a hundred and odd channels. About approximately hundred channels. But let's go back inside because I absolutely love that experience. Okay. And let's talk about the very, very important question of cost. Okay, now that uh, we're all comfortable and uh, I'm BC on air, coming back to the cost question, how much will it cost for me to set this up uh, in my car? The All India would come to you about a lakh and a half plus taxes plus installation and the Maharashtra would be about 65 plus installation plus taxes. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm completely sold on the idea. I'm going to go back and tell my producers to at least push for getting one of these in our cars for work and um, thank you. At 1.5 lakhs, getting a dish TV in your car might be an expensive wish to have. But hey, it's the price you pay for getting ahead of the game and getting this technology first. I think I agree with Sharuk on this one. Wish karo, to dish karo. Here's to happy viewing.